Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Source. Um, not a ton of time tonight, so we're just going to run through three games in this video. But tomorrow at 4 p.m. in the live show, we're going to go through all 15. Uh, so I'm just going to run through three games real quick. Uh, MLB ticket went 3-3 three and three tonight, so a solid day. Better the day did cash, which is nice. Uh, but let's put it in the past. Let's go. Welcome to The Source. The Source. Hey, get the Suez. First game I'm talking about, Cubs are on the road in Miami to play the Marlins. Jesus Lozardo pitching against Marcus Stroman. Marlins open up as favorites here, minus 127. His total opens up at seven and a half. Let's take a look at the spreadsheet and the models just loving the Cubs recently and rightfully so, they've been playing great baseball. Um, five nothing Cubs after five innings, seven nothing Cubs final score. So Jesus Lazardo was looking like a potential all-star after his first two starts. Since then, he has gone south for the winner. He's coming off back-to-back -back bad starts here in his last two starts, eight and two thirds innings pitch, 14 hits, three walks, seven earned runs allowed. But it's not just the numbers, it's who those numbers were against. Those starts were against San Francisco and Cleveland, two bottom 10 lineups against left-handed pitching. And San Francisco is like bottom three. So to put up those poor numbers against those two lineups, if you're a lefty, that's alarming. Now he's got a pitch against the Chicago Cubs who are hitting everybody. That lineup's hitting everybody. In the last two weeks, Cubs are sixth in Woba against left-handed pitching. So this is gonna be the toughest lineup he's pitched against in at least a couple weeks. The reason I really like Stroman to have a bounce back performance here is not only is he pitching against the Marlins lineup, which hardly scares anybody, <laughs> um, but also he's pitching on the road where Stroman's been one of the most reliable starting pitchers in baseball over the last year. Marcus Stroman started 13 games on the road last year. He had a 206 ERA. That was the fourth best in Major League Baseball on the road last year. And he seems to be picking up right where he left off this season in his first road start of the year. He threw six scoreless innings and let up just two hits. Now, granted, that was against Oakland, so I'm not going to throw him a parade for it, but still, I mean, that's a solid start. The only angle that worries me about the Cubs in this spot is they just used their four best bullpen arms yesterday. Now, two of them and possibly three should still be available to pitch on back-to-back -back nights, but it's still something to keep in mind. But that's completely okay because I'm cutting the bullpen out of it. I'm sticking to the first five. I'm sticking with the Cubbies. Give me Cubs first five money line. It's at minus 110 right now. That's only going to go up. Lock it in next game. Seattle on the road in Toronto. Louis Castillo pitching against Alec Manoa. Toronto opens up as minus 130 favorites. Total opens up at eight and a half. Let's take a look at the spreadsheet. According to the model, after five innings, we're looking at two nothing Seattle Mariners. Final score, three one Mariners. So for starters, Seattle has had a ton of success against this Toronto Blue Jays team. They've won nine of their last 12 games against Toronto, including five wins in a row. But that's not the main reason I like the Mariners here. Spoiler alert, I like Seattle. <laughs> um, I just think this price is a complete overreaction of these two starters last outing. You got Louis Castillo coming off a rough start against St. Louis, and you got Alec Manoa coming off a gem. He went into Yankee Stadium and pitched his ass off. Obviously, we know that Louis Castillo is a more reliable starting pitcher than Alec Manoa. This is just an overreaction to those two last starts, like I said. To get the Mariners with Castillo on the mound at plus money just feels like a great opportunity here. Seattle also has the bullpen advantage here, and since George Kirby just pitched a freaking complete game yesterday, uh, they should have all had a day off. So, yeah, I'm definitely on the Mariners here at the plus money. Give me Seattle money line plus 102. You can get it at right now. Next game. D-backs on the road in Coors Field. We got Merrill Kelly pitching against Kyle Freeland. Colorado opens as plus 125 underdogs. Total opens up at 11 and a half, typical Coors Field. Let's take a look at the spreadsheet. According to the model, we're looking at 2-1 Arizona after five innings. Final score, 3-1 Arizona. All right, so like I said, it's Coors Field. <laughs> so obviously we're looking at a double digit total here, 11 and a half or wherever it's at. Um, just a nightmare spot for pitcher. That being said, I kind of like the spot for Kyle Freeland a little bit. I mean, he's made three starts at home in Coors Field this year. Two of them were good. He did get rocked by the Pirates in the other one. The other two were good quality starts. Reason number two why I like Kyle Freeland in this spot, he's a lefty. And Arizona has not been hitting left-handed pitching this year. In the last two weeks, they're just 21st in Woba. Reason number three why I like Kyle Freeland in this spot, you're getting the D-backs bats on the road. At home, Arizona is ninth in Major League Baseball in Woba. On the road, they fall all the way back to 27th. This lineup has not been hitting on the road. Now let's give Merrill Kelly a little credit. In his last trip to Coors Field, he did pitch well. He pitched a good game. But his other three career starts in Coors Field, he got absolutely rocked. 16 earned runs allowed in the other three starts combined. Now we take it past the starting pitchers and look at the bullpen. The Rockies are kind of getting their shit together in the back half here. Um, the last two weeks, the Rockies bullpen 17th. The last week, 14th. 
Rockies bullpen kind of on the come up. So I'm down to take a shot with the dog here. I'm on the Rockies. Give me Colorado money line at plus, I think it was plus 113 last time I looked at it. Uh, let's go rocks. If there's any crazy updates or changes, I'll let you know on Twitter. So give me a follow there if you're interested. Also, like I said, live show 4 p.m. Eastern time. We're going through all 15 games. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check it out.